The category is people who annoy you. Okay. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. I believe. Wow. <laughs> All right, you goons have had your fun. Now, why don't you just cool it? Boy, I'm really blowing it. From the desert planet of Tatooine, it's the Jedi Master himself, and now the voice of the Joker on the Batman cartoon, Mark Hamill! Mark Hamill! The great Mark Hamill. There's an old saying that uh, you never want to meet your heroes in life because they'll certainly be a disappointment when you get to know that they're not the character and the hero that they portray on screen. And certainly Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, or I know him better as <laughs> is one of these type of people. Now, of course, Hamill, I, I've always put up with him because of Star Wars. That, of course, is one of the greatest movies, one of my favorite things of all time. However, you see what this guy's really about on his X page with the things that he puts out on a constant basis for years now, as he's nothing more than a leftist Democrat shill that must have the worst case of cognitive dissonance I've ever seen. He certainly suffers from Trump derangement syndrome. His TDS is so severe that he'll share a link from an organization like the Lincoln Project, whose co-founder, of course, was found to be a homosexual sex predator, just because it's a never Trump organization. Here's a guy that'll support a group which puts out a video, an anti-gun video, which is an anti-Second Amendment video, which is anti-American video, while mocking God and prayer by talking about thoughts and prayers, how they don't help when it comes to gun control. For all his moral posturing, here he is back in 2016, trying to urge a woman who got pregnant by his son, a former porn actress, by the way, we see what kind of folks the Hamels are hanging around, to get an abortion. This is a guy so concerned with life and gun control and trying to meddle into your life. <laughs> now is urging death on a girl for a baby that he claimed to tell her nobody wants. And on top of that is such a beta that he told this woman that his son, who at the time was 37, is not ready to be a father. Just like a Democrat, just passing the buck and not taking any responsibilities. Oh, you suck. So after years of listening to this guy and watching his downward spiral of leftist idiocy, yesterday the nitwit posted this with his nope, not again shirt, and four, he voted for four more years of an orange-free Oval Office. Of course, he's not running on any type of principle. He's just saying he made a vote against Trump. Not for something, but against Trump. And that's all he's got to stand on because he's a miserable old man because of his unthankfulness, his ungratefulness, his inability to be able to recognize that he's been given gifts and he has this amazing platform with adoring fans all over the world that look to him as a childhood hero and a standard to live up to. And they realize that it's just Hollywood magic. This guy, probably more than a lot of them out there because he's been in it for years, has seen some stuff that takes place on an island somewhere, knows all about this stuff, and this is why he desperately shills because Mark Hamill is no hero. He's just another millionaire, idiot, Hollywood, fake person who only survives from one virtue signal to the next because he's got no foundation. He's a lost soul. He's a wretched man. He is uh, easily the worst president ever. And this isn't the Jedi that we're looking for. You have failed me for the last time, Luke. No! No! Exactly, no! Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Coxinata Productions. Coxinata Productions, opening minds by closing them on truth.